Hi, welcome to Bug Me Not, Big Talks for Kids. This is episode number three, and today we are going to talk about fear. My name is Tatiana, and I'm so glad you're here. Did you know that just like everyone is different, there are different kinds of fear. They are the common types of fear that many of us share, such as fear of the dark, fear of heights, and fear of loss. The fear of losing someone or something important to us. There are also unusual or unexpected kinds of fear, and usually this is related to traumas or very difficult experiences that someone had in life. Fear of fire ants, big dogs, and even boats sailing, for example. When I was a teacher, I had a student that was really frightened of spiders, and my uncle, until today, is unable to get over fear of elevators. You see, children or adults, every one of us fear something. You want to know what I'm afraid of? I'm scared of snakes. I'm afraid of losing people that I love. And I cannot stand roller coasters. But what about you? Would you go on a roller coaster ride? And what makes you scared? Have you ever noticed how our body feels or changes when we are scared? Sometimes my hands get sweaty. And sometimes I feel like crying and even yelling. Can you believe there were times where my body was paralyzed, not moving, due to fear? Sometimes fear makes me weak. And sometimes fear makes me stronger. I feel weak when I feel that I'm in danger, alone, and not prepared to deal with a specific situation. When my grandpa was sick and hospitalized, I was so scared for not being able to say goodbye. I was so scared that he would suffer. I felt so weak and powerless, unable to help him. My dad knew how important it was to me to visit my grandpa at that time. And by the end of that week, we got together and we said our goodbyes. After that special moment, that last hug, it was easier to deal with the fear of loss. I was so glad I shared my feelings with my dad. In a situation where I usually would be frightened, I was strong. Remember my fear of snakes? Well, one day we went for a hike as a family. It was a Friday afternoon. Here in Austin, Texas, there are so many beautiful parks. And going for a hike, biking, or just enjoying nature, it's something that we really love to do. And for that family time, we also took our dogs. Peanuts and Biscuit. <laughs> I know, funny names. The weather was so nice and the dogs were so excited. Ava couldn't hardly wait to see the armadillos again. Last time, we saw two of them. It was amazing. My husband was on the back with Peanuts and I was right behind Ava taking pictures. Ava is very attentive to everything. We used to say that she has eagle eyes just like daddy. And thank God on that day, those eagle eyes were absolutely sharp. The trail was narrow and with the native vegetation along the way, 
we couldn't see much of the ground. And suddenly, Ava looks to the left, then down, and she looks at me and says, Mama, a snake. And that was one of those situations where you don't have time to think, just act. Now, if I was by myself on that trail, I can think of two possibilities. Number one, I would be paralyzed by fear for a couple of seconds. Number two, I would scream and then run. And clearly, none of those options would be the ideal one. Thank God that day I was on mother automatic mode. So I grabbed Ava's arm and we ran as fast as we could. Everything happened so fast that the dogs didn't have a chance to spot the snake. That would be a disaster because the snake that Ava saw was a rattlesnake. And that's a poisonous snake. I believe that that unexpected situation made me stronger because I had Ava with me. So unconsciously, I knew that I needed to protect her. Have you ever been in a situation where you were so scared, but you needed to overcome that fear for yourself or for somebody else? You know what I have been doing in order to overcome my fears? First, I need to understand it. Why? Where is coming from? And then, defeat it or control it. I am very sociable in an extrovert. And that means that I love to meet new people and I have no problem speaking in public. And sometimes I do get a little bit nervous with butterflies in my stomach, but I love public speech. But you know what? It wasn't always like this. My mom told me that when I was a little girl, it would take so long to warm up at a birthday party or a get-together. And just towards the end, I would have fun and feel comfortable. The fear of talking to people and the fear of rejection that people would not like me, it got better with time. Because the confidence in myself and in who I was got stronger each day. That way it was so easy to talk to people because I would talk about swimming, karate, music, things that I love and are part of me. And this fear I defeated by challenging myself. Because the wish of being different, enjoying time with people, and easily making friends was way bigger than my fear of people not liking me. On the other hand, my fear of roller coaster comes with the fear of height and the sense of not feeling safe. And with the intention to overcome my fear of height, I went to a roller coaster for beginners. And by the end of this experience, I was very nauseous with a big headache and the sense of it was not worth it. And what's the lesson here? Some fears cannot be defeated, but they can easily be managed. What are the fears, big or small, that you know you can overcome? And what are the fears that even though you cannot defeat right now, you know you can manage? Remember, We all have fears, children or adults. And you don't need to go through hard situations by yourself. P. 
people that I love and respect me helped me overcome many fears. Find someone that you trust and you feel safe and share your fears. And also share your accomplishments and your strategies to overcome fear. Reflection of the day. You can close your eyes or maybe not. You can even do a little dance. Do whatever makes you comfortable. Today's reflection will be a very special breathing technique. Have you ever noticed that when we are scared, our body changes, it behaves differently? Sometimes we feel tension in our muscles and it might even hurt. Sometimes our hands get sweaty and our hearts beat so fast. Fear changes our thinking and changes our feelings. And that's not a good thing, right? My lovely mother-in-law, my husband's mother and my daughter's grandma, Vovó Zeza, she taught me a very special breathing technique and now we are going to do it together. The idea is to inhale, breathe in through the nose, counting to five. Then hold breath for three seconds and then exhale, breathe out through the mouth at once. And as always, you are just going to do wherever you feel comfortable with. And if you don't feel comfortable holding breath for three seconds, don't worry about it, okay? And in order to do the right way, when we inhale, breathe in, our bellies will rise, our stomach will expand. And now that all the directions and instructions were given, we are going to do the breathing technique together. The first two times I'm going to guide you and on the third time we are doing it together. While you inhale, think about all the things that makes you happy, that gives you peace. It's like you want to gather all those beautiful things and thoughts to keep them with you. Now, inhale two, three, four, five, hold breath two, three, exhale through mouth at once. Inhale two, three, four, Five, hold breath, two, three, exhale through the mouth. And now, a last time together. I truly hope that you're feeling as good as I am. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. And on the next episode, we are going to talk about pets. We are going to talk about the different kinds of pets, the fun and the responsibilities. How many pets do I have? We are also going to talk about adopting or buying a pet and so much more. Thank you so much for listening. Be the most beautiful you. You are so loved. I'll see you soon.